Great. Um, yeah, it's a long time coming. Uh, something I've set out for for a little bit now, and uh, you know, it's nice to see some things happen. But it's just, you know, it's just the start of it. Um, hard work really starts now, so um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. What are some of the things that you were able to, to pick up throughout camp and throughout the preseason, observing maybe from the guys that have been here for a while? Um, what it means just be a pro. Um, you know, it's different coming from college. You know, it's it's your job now, so you, you have to take everything. You know, even the little things seriously, and um, you know, even away from the ring, take care of your body and stuff like that. So, um, you know, there's a lot of good people in here to watch for that for sure. How'd you find out about making the roster? Uh, just kind of new. Um, uh, Paul called me in uh, on Saturday, so um, before the game, uh, they told me I was resting and that I'd probably be in Thursday. So. Uh, a little pumped about that, and it's nice to get a, a nice day off for sure. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of trying to enjoy the week and soaking it all in for sure. When so you, when you when you leave that call, who's the next person you call to tell the news? Uh, definitely the parents. Yeah, yeah they were they were waiting for that one for a little bit now, so um, they're pretty pumped for me, and uh, they felt me the whole way through. And obviously the sisters too; they were pretty jacked up about it too. So. Uh, they'll be there on Thursday, so I'm looking forward to seeing them. Going all the way back to when you got here, rookie showcase preseason. How do you feel like you kind of built and up to that moment to get that spot? Um, just hard work, you know, not, you know, not letting the bad days be too bad and the good days be too good. I think is the biggest thing. Um, you know, I think it was huge for uh, for me to you know get to know people around here too. I think that's a big thing. Um, you know, you're here every day, and if you're enjoying it too with these people, I think it makes it even better. So, uh, you know, getting more people and starting those relationships was, was huge for me. You've mentioned time and time again that this was the goal to make the roster, but yep. now that it, you've actually made it, is it a little surreal that the moment is here? Yeah, definitely, for sure. Um, you know, you dream about playing in the NHL. It's something that you work day in and day out for your whole life, and uh, now it's finally here. It's pretty sweet. And, it's you know I'm sitting in bed and it's really sinking in. It's a, it's a good feeling. So, um, but like I said, it's just the start and hopefully I, I go keep going. You talk about the work that you're putting in. Like we've seen you staying out late after practice and everything. Is that something that you're kind of doing now in the NHL or is that something you've always done? Um, it's always been part of me. Um, you know I think it's I think it goes to preparation. You know that's the big thing with me. It's if I'm putting in the work out there, come game time, I don't really have to. You know, feel nervous or anything. I know I put the work in, and I know I'm, I'm prepared for it. So, um, you know, that's that's basically it for me. It's just preparing and making sure I'm feel ready come Thursday. And just in terms of like, it looks like you're gonna be skating on a pretty fun line, just you know, with your mm -hmm. NHL line. Just how is that kind of? It's the process of playing with yeah, them. Yeah, um, it's sweet. Um, it, they make it so easy. It's they know how to support me so well, and um, you know, the little things. You know, whether it's rimming a puck harder than usually then you know a little stuff like that you pick up on it uh, you know being in college you don't realize that stuff but uh, you know playing with these guys it helps so much and makes it so easy for me and how do you like the, playing the bumper on the power play they've had you in there this week yeah I played there a little bit in college so I kind of know the ins and outs of that little spot in there so uh, it's tight I, I like it because you know obviously with the players that I got around me they they, they find me so uh, I could use, you know, my shot. I think, I think that's a big part of why I'm there. So um, just let it rip, and you know, just know that they're gonna find me. So I'll be ready. What's the cheering section gonna be like in Minnesota? Do you think? Um, I'm not sure. I know I got a, a bunch of people coming. I think the whole Sam Sketch family tree is gonna be there. So um, you know, looking forward to seeing all those people for sure. Matt, is there anyone that you've really tried to gravitate towards in the dressing room, just to either see how they go about their business, ask them questions about the system? I mean, pretty cool. You get to sit. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I think one guy is Lundy. He's you know obviously a younger guy. Um, he's been to the league, and I think it's it's good to like ask a, a younger guy just because you know that's that's where they're at right now. And you know I'm obviously just coming into the league, and they're fresh out of their whatever second year, and so um, just learn from him. Obviously, he's such a good person, such a great player, and. Uh, obviously, playing with him helps a lot. So I think he's definitely one guy I look up to for sure. Are you looking forward to the rookie lap? Yeah, um, I, I, I got some buddies that had their first already. So um, just don't fall and make sure you do your hair before. So um, those are uh, two things that uh, I'll try to try to do or try not to do. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you.